والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. O oh Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. O oh Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. And for the book, إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد Brothers and sisters in Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته The hereafter Brothers and sisters in Islam الإمام القرطبي رحمه الله described it in couple of lines in a poem he said تذكر وقوفك يوم العرض عريانا Remember your standing naked in the day of resurrection. Mustawhishan qaliq al-ahshai hayrana. Fearful, worried. You're inside, in trouble. You're seeking guidance. وَالنَّارُ تَلْهَبُ مِنْ غَيْضٍ وَمِنْ حَنَقِ And the hellfire is so angry because of the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ala al-usa the hellfire is so angry against the disobedient wa rabbul arsh ghadbana and the lord of the throne is so angry the prophet sallallahu the prophets peace be upon them they said Allah is so angry today he has never been angry like this before and he will never be angry like this afterwards iqra kitabaka ya abdu ala mahalin then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will command the people to read their book, their book of good deeds. فَهَلْ تَرَى فِيهِ حَرْفًا غَيْرَ مَا كَانَ Do you see anything that you did not do in this book? فَلَمَّا قَرَأْتَ وَلَمْ تُنْكِرْ قِرَاءَتَهُ After you read it, and you did not deny anything written in this book, وَأَقْرَرْتَ إِقْرَارَ مَنْ عَرِفَ الْأَشْيَاءَ عِرْفَانَ And you confessed to everything that is written in this book. نَادَ الْجَلِيلُ خُدُوهُ يَا مَلَائِكَتِ The most powerful will command the angels to take that servant who disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمْضُوا بِعَبْدٍ عَصَى إِلَى النَّارِ عَطْشَانَ Take that servant, take that person, take that slave to the hellfire because he disobeyed and he is thirsty. الْمُشْرِكُونَ غَدًا فِي النَّارِ يَلْتَهِبُوا the mushriks, those who associated someone in worship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, tomorrow will be blazing in the hellfire, will be burning in the hellfire. وَالْمُوَحِّدُونَ لِدَارِ الْخُلْدِ سُكَّانَ And the monotheist, those who said, لا إله إلا الله, Muhammad Rasulullah, will inherit the home of eternity, and there will, they will be the dwellers of that home. Brothers and sisters in Islam, on this day, يَوْمَ تَجِدُ كُلُّ نَفْسٍ مَا عَمِلَتْ مِنْ خَيْرٍ مُحْضَرًا وَمَا عَمِلَتْ مِنْ سُوءٍ تَوَدُّ لَوْ أَنَّ بَيْنَهَا وَبَيْنَهُ أَمَدًا بَعِيدًا On this day, the soul would see all the goodness, all the goodness that it made. 
And at the same time, every person will wish not to see the evil that he or she committed. And one of the evils that you don't want to see in the day of resurrection is the injustices that you committed. في مستدرك الحاكم حديث عائشة رضي الله عنها The hadith to be truthful has some weak narrators in it. The scholars of hadith said that the hadith is weak but the hadith is supported by the Quran and the Sunnah له شواهد عائشة رضي الله عنها said the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said دواوين الظلم ثلاث Injustices will have three kinds of books in the day of resurrection. Three kinds. Injustices are three kinds. ديوان لا يغفر الله منه شيئا The first kind, you will not be forgiven for the ظلم. For the injustice that you committed, you will not be forgiven. And you will go to the hellfire because of that injustice. You know what injustice we're talking about? إن الله لا يغفر أن يشرك به ويغفر ما دون ذلك لمن يشاء شرك يا بني لا تشرك بالله إن الشرك لظلم عظيم indeed sitting partners in worship not knowing لا إله إلا الله not implementing لا إله إلا الله not being sincere about لا إله إلا الله شرك associating someone in worship with Allah سبحانه وتعالى this cert this certain kind of dhulm, of injustice, will not be forgiven. Now it's the time. Now it's the time. We talked about Tawheed. We talked about La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah. Understand what it means and implement it. The second type of dhulm, the second type of injustices, brothers and sisters in Islam, La ya'ba'u Allahu bih. Allah will be careless about it. You know what dhulm are we talking about? You know what injustice are we talking about? The injustice that you commit between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The sins that you commit between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive these sins. Now Ramadan is a way to forgive these sins. Tawbah will forgive these sins. Istighfar, saying astaghfirullah, will forgive that dhulm, that injustice. If not, then some calamity that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala afflict you with. Hasanat will also erase these sins, that dhulm from your book. Now, you can do this. You can clean this dhulm, this book, your book from that kind of dhulm as you go. As you go. You can clean your book from this type of injustice as you go. By doing istighfar, by doing tawbah, by repenting, by doing hasanat. إِنَّ الْحَسَنَاتِ يُذْهِبْنَ السَّيِّئَاتِ ذَلِكَ ذِكْرَ لِلذَّاكِرِينَ Indeed, good deeds erase bad deeds. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told Ma'ad ibn Jabal رضي الله عنه اتبع السيئة الحسنة تتمحها Follow a bad deed with a good deed, it will erase it. What happened if you fail? If you fail, if you committed that type of dhulm, that type of injustice, and you did not repent, it's between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by the way. You may be amongst those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will call in front of all of mankind. In hadith Abdullah ibn Umar, hadith in Najwa, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Yudni rabbul alameen al-abda min kanafihi fayadaw alayhi kanafa. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will call upon you. Did you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will talk to you one on one? Yes, you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will talk to you. Wallah, Allah will talk to you. The Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, and the hadith in the two sahih, al-Bukhari wa Muslim, min hadith Adi ibn Hatim, radiyallahu an, ma minkum min ahadin, illa sayukallimuhu rabbuhu, laysa baynahu wa baynahu turjuman. None of you, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will speak to, your Lord will speak to, without a translator. Without a translator. You will not need a translator to speak to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, if you have committed that type of injustice, which is sinning between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, while not engaging others in that sin, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may call you in front of people 
عند حديث حديث النجوى حديث عبد الله بن عمر رضي الله عنهما إن تو صحيح الله will call you and then he will veil you from all of mankind and Allah سبحانه وتعالى will ask you do you remember on this day you committed that sin and that sin and that sin and then the servant of Allah سبحانه وتعالى will say yes O oh Allah I admit I did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will tell you, Allah is the merciful, will tell you, I veiled you in the dunya, and today I will forgive it for you. You may be amongst those. So this is the second type of injustice that you may commit. What about the third type? As for the third type, this injustice, you must pay for it. لا يترك الله منه شيئا you must pay for these injustices. You know what injustices we're talking about? ظلم العبد للعبد. You being unfair and unjust to another human being. You will pay for this. My dear Muslims, those who are oppressed, you will get your right. Allah is mindful of you. Those who are committing dhulm, they think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not aware of them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells them in the Quran, وَلَا تَحْسَبَنَّ اللَّهَ غَافِلًا عَمَّا يَعْمَلُ الظَّالِمُونَ Don't you dare think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unaware of what the oppressors are doing to the oppressed. Don't you dare think that. إِنَّمَا يُؤَخِّرُهُمْ لِيَوْمٍ تَشْخَصُ فِيهِ الْأَبْصَارِ He is delaying them to a day when their eyes will be wide open. Brothers and sisters in Islam, we know a lot of Muslims are being killed right now as we speak unjust, unjustly. They don't even know why they were killed. You know, in the day of resurrection, the killer... The killed, the people who got killed, they will carry their heads on their hand and they will drag their killers and they will go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they will say, Oh Allah, ask him why he killed me. Ask him why he killed me. Brothers and sisters in Islam, the third kind of dhulm, of injustice, is so serious, is so serious. We are to talk about it in the next episode of Ramadan is your second chance. Do not miss tomorrow. We're going to talk about that kind of dhulm and how can you avoid it. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not leave that type of dhulm, type of injustice unsettled. It must be settled because it is the rights of other people. Ramadan is your second chance. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. O Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. O Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. And for the book you revealed therein to guide us to the light. By your grace you sent us this Quran each day that we recite. And for the book you revealed therein to guide us to the light.